I've embarked on this amazing journey of raising chickens this year. I built a beautiful large chicken coop for them, but didn't get around to building their chicken run. I had zero plans and no idea how to build a chicken run, but I puzzled it out and now I'm going to show you the story of how I did it. This is the plan. I kind of put numbers on at the outside to show the overall length of the walls and the squares like here are the posts. So that's kind of the general idea of what we're going for. Step one is digging some holes. Each one was about 15 inches deep and eight to 12 inches wide. I filled the hole with three inches of gravel on the bottom for drainage and stability for the post. After putting in my 4x4x8 post and leveling it out so that it's standing straight and upright, I added my concrete. I got this fast setting concrete, added water, and mixed. Then I repeated the process for each post. Okay, we are back to building the chicken run. This is honestly my least favorite project I've ever done. The hardware cloth, like the wire mesh, is so annoying to deal with. It cuts you up everywhere. Cutting it is annoying, stapling it on is annoying, handling it is annoying. <laughs> Literally everything about it is annoying, but we're doing it. The other day I did most of it. I didn't film because I just got it done super fast. But today we will record. The wind is just going crazy and I know that the microphone probably is not picking me up very well. Now that I have a better understanding of what I'm doing, I will show you because I had to figure it all out. It was, it's a whole thing. Step two is getting the hardware cloth for the walls up. For the run, make sure you use hardware cloth and not chicken wire. Chicken wire is meant for containing chickens, whereas hardware cloth is meant to keep predators out. I put the hardware cloth up to the post and leave close to two feet on the ground to prevent predators from digging. I found that doing this little hop is the most effective way to bend the hardware cloth. Then I use a stapler and hold it up in the meantime before I can hammer in poultry staples. Please note that the staples do not hold under any tension and are not permanent. For a sturdy hold, you've got to use the poultry staples. Once the wire is up on the post, I add a 2x4 across the bottom and attach the hardware cloth to that as well. Also, for the corners, I cut off the excess in an L shape, as you can see here. Then, I basically repeat this process all the way up the post. I am joined today by my mom. And it also has transitioned from spring into summer in the matter of a day. It's 90 degrees outside today. Step three, you definitely want a second pair of hands. I was low on hardware cloth, so for the top sliver, I used some wire fencing, which is, again, thicker than chicken wire. I then added two by fours across from where the hardware cloth and fencing met and secured them both to the two by four. It's very hot and we are exhausted. So we're taking a little break. Here's the plants that I'm hardening off right now. You'll see them in the next video. 
We are back in the chicken coop. I'm hoping I'll have it done today. Clover had a little escape attempt today. It was very funny. Debu luckily did not go for her, which was amazing. But it, it just shows that I need to get this wrapped up. Could you imagine if I did not come out here at the exact time that she managed to escape? She would have just been out in the world. <laughs> Okay, let's get this started. I need to put a door. droopy is not permanent but I put up that one I think is gonna be permanent it's nice and tight but I just put it up because I realized I created an escape hazard with the stick here so I didn't want anybody jumping jumping exiting I'm just sitting here enjoying my chickens like it is the best thing ever I've got this 13 gallon trash bin and then four of these little two inch 45 degree PVC thingies. I definitely should have put these lower so that there's not all that food. It's fine. I made a little mistake and I should have put these lower and then just put this on cinder blocks for the height. But all I was thinking about when I cut these holes was how tall the girls are. Ugh, it's heavy. Okay. 